as it takes to fasten these puppies on for at least 12 hours. Does it hurt? I suffer for beauty. <laughs> Mom? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I almost got it. Ma Mom? Wait a minute. I almost got it. Okay, okay. Yes, sweetie? Why won't you let me buy a hot lunch like the rest of the kids? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You are not eating that disgusting food. Well, I'm the only white girl in the lunchroom, and all my friends get to go home, and I can never keep my Fritos, and I always have to go looking for someone to open my can of tuna. Lisa, sweetheart, you know I don't cook before five. How many times do I have to tell you? And don't even tell me those dirty, rotten kids are eating your, your stupid Fritos. Well, I was treating them with this girl, Angela, for ding-dongs, but now she bullies me every day for them. Oh, Lisa, honey. One day, you are going to be big enough to kick her ass. Oh, Jesus, would you look at the time? Oh, my God, you're going to be late for school. Ma. And I'm going to be late for Marjan. But, Ma, but what about the Fritos? Oh, it just occurred to me. You are the only white girl in the lunchroom, and I am the only Italian in the world that plays Marjan. Isn't that great? <laughs> That's great. Okay, I'll see you later. Mwah. Bye, sweetie. Oh, I love you. with a can of tuna. Now I am here. Oh, give me the cup. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I don't understand why your mother never gave you a can opener. I don't know. She's too busy, I guess. Thanks. Lisa, you know I'm not too busy for you. Hmm? I already ate them. to me? Jerry. Look, I get up at three in the morning to meet the boats, right? By two in the afternoon, I'm falling asleep at the wheel. Some jerk comes out of nowhere. He cuts me off. You know what? I don't have the reaction time for these assholes anymore. (gasps) 
Jerry, who are you talking to? Huh? That's right. You're talking to Joe Spinelli. That's right. And Joe Spinelli brings you the freshest calamard, scallops, and halibut every single Thursday. <sighs> now you're talking. That's it. You're damn right it wasn't my fault. You want anything special? No? Okay. Jerry, you're a good man. Dad, you're the biggest con artist this side of the Hudson. Come here, Pipsqueak. Come here, you. <laughs> Come here, girl. Mm. Oh, you're so cute. You smell. I smell. What do you expect from a hard-working fish man, huh? Fish. A fish, fish. Oh, you're <laughs> so funny. You're so funny. <laughs> hey, now have I told you how cute you were? No, Daddy, not yet. No, not yet? Okay, well, in case I didn't, I'll do it again. You are the cutest cutest girl in the entire world. I know that. Yeah, I know you know that. <laughs> now you listen, I gotta tell you something real important, okay? Mm -hmm. Pay attention. Yeah, I am. Okay, your mom and I, we were talking last night, and we've arranged for a girl to come in for you starting tomorrow. Girl? Yeah. Tomorrow? No, I don't want no girl. No. Lisa, listen, you are alone way no, too much. No, I don't. You are alone way too much, No, honey. I don't want hey, no hey, girl. Hey, 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 you stop your whining, all right? I say it's gonna be, it's gonna be, that's it. Okay? Lisa! Today we're going to talk about adjectives. What are you An holding it for? Pass the notes! Modifies. Okay, that's how it's gonna go. Um, you're gonna work six days, and you'll have Sunday off with pay. Mm. Oh, there she is, my sweet girl, Lisa. Come here. I want you to meet Odessa. Good to meet you, Miss Lisa. You too. That girl will warm up faster than you think. Mm, I'm not worried, ma'am. Odessa. Yes, ma'am? Please, don't call me ma'am. The name's Mrs. Spinelli. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> you could call me Anne. Now you're part of the family. Well, thank you, Mrs. Spinelli. <laughs> Do you want a piece? Um, okay. Well then, come on in and sit down and I'll get it for you. Uh, yeah. Well, are you going to eat it? Or sit there looking all bug-eyed?
give you an invitation to come into my room? I'm sorry. Lisa, you have got to be more sensitive to other people's personal things. Well, since you're here, what can I do for you? Well, I just wanted to see what you did with the sewing room. Well, do you like what you see? I like it. Who are they? They're my sons. Your sons? How old are they? This one here is Leonard. He was 29 this past July. Where is he now? He's in jail. I don't see him anymore. Jail? Why? That poor boy stood up for what he believed in, but never realized that what he was fighting for then would bring all this pain and suffering now. You can go to jail for standing up for yourself? No, honey. He just went about it the wrong way. Now, don't misunderstand me. You should always stand up for yourself. So, if I wanted to fight for something, I wouldn't go to jail? Only if you went against the law and physically hurt a lot of people in the process. But remember, think first, Lisa. Follow your heart, then go about your business. But always stand up for what's right. If I ever went to jail, I think I'd want my mother to come visit me there. Seems like a scary and lonely place. And where's he? Odessa? Odessa, are you okay? Yes, I I'm fine. Where's your other boy? My sweet Michael. He left me to go be with God up in heaven. But he'll always be with me right here in my heart. Do you miss him? Yes. Yes, I do. Child, you know it's way past your bedtime. Odessa? Mm-hmm. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Sleep with the angels. Precious Lord, take, take my hand. me on. Let me for I am so tired, for I am so weak, for I am Mama, is that you, Mama? Oh, yes, Leonard. That's me. Who else were you expecting? It's been a long time, Mama. I never thought you'd come. Lord have mercy, child. You look just like your daddy. Except your daddy had to find a barber. <laughs> you look good, son. 
Mama, I'm so sorry. Please believe me. I never meant to get Michael involved. It was just a piece, Mom. No, no, I, I love you. I love you. Sorry it took me all this time to tell you. The past is over and done. I'm so sorry, Mama. I'm so sorry. I know, baby. I'm so sorry. your parents. You're both going to be suspended for a couple of days. I want you to think about what you've done. There is certain behavior around here that we are not going to tolerate. Not on my watch. Lisa, a woman named Odessa Said she was going to pick you up? Starting a fight. I hope you're proud of yourself. I stuck up for myself, just like your Leonard, and no one got hurt. How do you, can you say nobody got hurt? Angela got hurt, you got hurt. Violence doesn't solve a thing, child. It just makes matters worse. You scared me half to death. Odessa, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything I did today. So how was your day off? I had a mighty fine day off. You went to see Leonard, didn't you? I sure did. Lord, I should never have let all those years pass by. When I looked in that child's face, I wanted back all those years. But I'm happy I finally got up the courage to forgive him. Why would you need courage to forgive someone? Well, let's just say... He broke my heart into a million pieces. What did he do? You can tell me. Leonard was involved with some protest groups. He always had a fire in his belly, that boy. I guess he thought he could change the world. I never dreamed he would get Michael involved. Michael was my baby. <laughs> he never had a fighting bone in his body. He was skinny like you. Carefree and innocent. I guess he got curious about what his big brother was up to and, and went with him on some peace march. He wasn't but 15 years old. My baby. My Michael. Some.
body started shooting. He got caught in the crossfire and died in Leonard's arms. I'll never forget that day when the police came to the door. As soon as, as soon as I saw them, I knew something was wrong. And then at the trial, when Leonard was found guilty of murdering the white police officer, I couldn't look at him ever again. He killed my baby. <laughs> How could I ever forgive him? <sighs> it felt like a cold day in hell that day. A cold day in hell it was. I'm sorry I stole your Fritos. Sorry I hit you. Remember, think first, Lisa. Follow your heart, then go about your business. But always stand up for what's right. 